First alert forecast. Good morning. Taking a look outside right now with in-dot cameras. We're seeing a little bit of patchy fog in a few places, although it's not area wide. Temperatures at the moment sitting in the 60s and 70s across the Midwest. And here's a little bit of some of the visibility issues we're seeing. Certainly not going to cause you any major problems as you head out for the morning commute, but nonetheless giving us a little bit of haziness. Three miles visibility in Angola, two and a half right now in Kettleville, and just under four at the moment in Warsaw. The rest of us just seeing kind of a light haze as you get ready to head out, but in more rural and more low lying areas, that's where you'll see some denser patches of fog that the visibility map isn't quite picking up on. As for future track throughout the day today, we stay mostly sunny, a few passing clouds, but all in all, things look to stay relatively quiet. Just a little bit steamy like what we had yesterday. We have the warmth with temperatures back into the mid 80s. Plus, we have a little hint of mugginess from the humidity on the rise. Across the Midwest, not much is going on, but as we go towards Sunday, that's when we see the potential for active weather to come back on deck. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center outlook has across the entire state of Indiana and actually a good portion of the Midwest in that yellow shade. That's a level two of five slight risk for severe weather. And yes, that does include all of 21 country. In fact, we're labeling Sunday as one to watch because of the severe weather potential. So let's break down the weekend day by day. We start out for Saturday dry in our area, but this is the beginnings of our low pressure system that will eventually bring the severe weather threat into our neck of the woods. Saturday's severe weather threat stays well off towards our west, but that low pressure system eventually evolves and matures a little bit more to lead into Sunday. We have a warm front and a cold front coming through, which will bring us the potential to see a few scattered showers or a few scattered thunderstorms during the daytime hours, but what could perhaps be more powerful is the cold front that looks to arrive closer to sundown or in the overnight hours. Here we go advancing future track into Sunday. We start out in the morning. Like I mentioned, a weak possibility to see a few stray showers or stray thunderstorms. That's not out of the question. But if we do see a decent amount of clearing, especially during some of the hottest times of the day that really recharges our atmosphere, Unfortunately, with the time frame where we're in, with this being early Friday morning and the storm potential being late Sunday night, our medium range models are still hour by hour getting new data in. So this is the latest that our data is coming in. But nonetheless, you can just see on the edge of your screen, that is the line of thunderstorms that could make its way into our area likely past sundown. But again, this is more of a fluid situation. So just again, an early heads up as we get ready for the tail end of the day Sunday to have an idea. Keep an update when it comes to the weather forecast and have a way to get weather alerts, especially because this looks like this could be kind of a later night sort of event. As we go into Monday, scattered rain sticks with us. Temperatures drop down into the mid 70s with breezy conditions and we'll hold on to the milder trend with temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s going into next week. Okay, Liz. Yeah, all eyes on Sunday. Things are just so up in the air right now. Yes, and really the big thing and why we have so much uncertainty is like I mentioned, when we have the short and medium range models, yeah. those are our ones that give us the clearest picture. So what we have right now is really murky when it comes to the models for where rain placement is. But what is a little bit more clear is the ingredients and the different elements we have in play, and those elements could allow for severe storms gotcha. to come through. So okay. again, a really early heads up. Sunday is a day to stay weather aware. Absolutely, and you can download the 21 Alive First Alert Weather app too. It is free, Liz. We